everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Shappy and we're gonna play Judgment. So this behind us is Mo something Lee. I'm bad at French, so uh, just read this and tell me how it's being pronounced. Anyways, this is where the secret lab is apparently and where all where they drag all the humans for the human experiments. And we're gonna infiltrate it now. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. Let's enter. Let's see what they're up to in here. We gotta find some evidence. Jeez, it's dark. What's the deal with this place? Hey, do you think this counts as trespassing? More or less. Yep. Now there's no turning back. We're in here. Gotta move forward. Who the hell are you? No one. Yagami-san, what do we do? Only one thing to do. We fight. Right. Why do we have so much health? What the hell? What kind of shit is this? Dude, these guys are getting wrecked. Damn. Yo, I gotta chill. It's the start of the video and I'm already fighting like that. Like, that's not fair. It's not fair against these fools. Damn, yo. Yo, he dodged that kick, do you see that? What the hell? Yo, my man got still a lot of health. Let's see our skills. Can we buy this one? We can. Oh no, I wanted this one. Right, 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 right. Oh, we don't need uh, that much more. Only about 2,000. Why? Why did the game trigger that? That was so unnecessary. Such a waste. Man. I bet those weren't the last of them, Yagami-san. I know. If anything, that was just a welcoming party. No, They'll no. know we're here too. Probably have weapons next time. Guns, worst case scenario. Who are these guys, anyway? Bums off the street, if I had to guess. Ichinose must have offered them a lot to do this. Yo, you guys okay in there? Mm-hmm. Yep, we're right on track. They've got guards, too. There's gotta be something here. Something like a secret lab, maybe? It'd be the perfect place. It's so dark, you could carry a corpse in here and nobody'd ever know. Think you two can handle it on your own? Are the two of us going to be able to get evidence off the secret lab by ourselves? Actually, I just thought of something. Can you call Mafuyu for me? Get her over here. And tell her to bring the cops. Huh? Why? Well, think about it. We're trespassing, yeah? Even if we do stumble on Shono's secret lab, the court would never accept evidence found illegally. And calling the cops makes it all fucking better? Not exactly. Even they can't investigate without a warrant. Then why the hell are you trying to get Mafia shot over there? I've got an idea. Just talk to Mafia for me, okay? We'll keep looking for the lab. Got it. Alright. I want to know that idea. Ugh, it's dark. Hold oh, on. wow. We shouldn't go in there without a light. Well, then go get a light. What the hell? Who knows what's gonna be in here? Let's be careful. This is so creepy. This is turning into a horror game. What is in here? Hi. 
Oh, twinsies. Look at that. Boy, get on my face. Holy shoot. These guys got wrecked. Is there something in here? Oh. What is that? It's a weapon. What the hell is that? Nothing? Damn it. I stepped in a puddle. For a door that doesn't even open. Didn't I tell you to be careful? Sorry. <laughs> I really like these shoes too. What am I doing now? I cannot open this. Uh. Wait a minute. Is there a secret in here, maybe? There's gotta be a reason why this room is here. It's gotta be. Can't go this way. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Ha <laughs> Secrets. Secrets, man. What Keep it the down, hell? Sarah. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Right? Holy I'm shit. Sorry, sorry. Yo, calm down. What is it this time? Segura? This isn't funny, man. Where are you? Oh, God. Who was that guy? Damn it. Gotta keep going, man. Gotta keep going. Hello. Why is that there? Looks like a jail cell. What the hell? I gotta lock pick this. Okay. Eh? Almost there. Eh, maybe? Eh, there you nice. go. Almost there. Come on, that's right on it. There you nice. go. Got Boom. It. Easy. Oh. Oh. There he is. Man. <laughs> Don't 
damage in it. Come on, let's keep going. Let us keep going. Gotta go this way. Okay. Yo, buddy, can you open this door for me? Why did I go over there? Somebody explain that to me? Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, door. Don't want to open you anyways. What is that? The secret technique has unlocked EX frontal beatdown. Learn how to use it on the skill app. What? What is this? Oh. Where do I land that? Is it on the battle? It's gotta be, right? If I unlock the new skill. Rising Tornado. Riga, what is that? I just wanna read what it is, please. Okay. Am I blind? What the hell? <laughs> nice fridge. Wait, what? Gotta be tripping. I'm tripping. I don't know. I know and I don't care. Okay, what's in here? Uh. Okay, can I go this way? Can I go this way either? I think we gotta use an item again for him. What's in here? Rats. I don't like that. Okay, that's the exact same layout, just uh, mirrored. I like it. Okay, so you're right, you gotta... You gotta step off a little. Um, let's use... Okay, we got candles in here. And those things. Those are electricity things. Let's try that. I would do ele electricity over fire, to be honest. On this guy. Okay, buddy, you wanna grab me again? Try it. I dare you. How do you like this? Now's my chance. Yo, what kind of mutant is this? See, alright, or something? It looks like a monster. With a human body. Uh, you're so tough, bro. Come here. What are you saying? Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, get off me. That's right. Let me kick you while you're down. Ow. Ow. That's right. Another one of these?
Why does he sound like a monster? What is he? Oh damn, I missed the opportunity. I didn't mean to slide. Wait, is that the same guy maybe? Maybe woke up. Why don't you keep it up, huh? How about that? Uh oh. Yo, I gotta heal. I can't tell if he... If he's got something in his mouth or... If his teeth just changed. Or something. No, I gotta heal. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do anything, we will regret. There you go. What kind of sick joke is he? Did Sukiyuro just punch me? Ow. This guy's unbelievable. What the hell? There you go. Maybe 89? Uh, what's it called? Mutates humans? Maybe? That's one fancy door. Why is it open? Oh. Yeah, that's creepy. Okay. The hell is this? That is sick. This is it. This has to be Shono's secret lab. <gasps> you two! What are you? Shona. I didn't think I'd find you working at the scene of the crime. Guess our timing's pretty good. Sugira. Get some video of this place. Mm -hmm. uh, stop that! So all those Yakuza who got their eyes gouged out. You did it here, huh? Can't wait to see what turns up. The cops are gonna have a field day in this place. The victim's fingerprints, hair, bodily fluids... DNA. Can you imagine just how long I've been waiting to see evidence like this come to light? I, I don't know what you're. Huh? Huh? Uh, 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 Segura, what's wrong? I'm sorry, Yagami-san. I've been lying to you about everything all along, until now. What do you mean by that? I'm not actually ex Kajihira. That wasn't the truth. Neither was my name. Yagami san, I. I actually know you from a long time ago. That's the whole reason I approached you. My real name, Yagami san? Funia Terasawa. Terasawa? Huh? I'm the younger brother of Emmy, who this bastard murdered. Oh. Sugira! Nobody move! You in the hood! Drop the knife! Now! You're under arrest for attempted murder. The cuffs won't be necessary. He's no longer a threat.
Don't worry about your friend. We won't bother prosecuting him. Oh, yeah? No crime was committed here. But, sir, we can't just... You need to get forensics in here. There's a good chance a series of murders took place in this very room. And what brings you to say that? Kido told me about it. Unfortunately, we'll need a stronger premise than that. They would never issue a warrant on such grounds. <laughs> well, then it's a good thing I have a better reason lined up. Which is what? Trespassing charges against a rogue ex-lawyer. Which makes this... a crime scene. Guess you'll have to block it off. Preserve the evidence, you know? Kakamiku. How clever. You don't mind being arrested if it means helping your investigation. I suppose this was your plan from the start. That's why you had Fujikun get the police involved. <laughs> you surprise me. Out of the way! Let me through! Vice Minister Ichinose! This place is under the Ministry of Health's jurisdiction. I demand you leave here at once. Huh. I didn't realize you guys were in the love hotel business, Vice Minister. It's a laboratory, our top secret research facility for AD9. You have no idea of the fallout this could cause. Then let's find out. If you didn't notice, I just trespassed. Meaning, this whole laboratory is a crime scene now. Isn't that right? Hmm. I'm not sure that's going to work, Yagami-san. At least four people were murdered in here. I'm sure of it. The proof's right here in this room. So please, I'm begging you to help me here. What a conundrum. You see, none of that is my concern. What? Wow, I hate people. Oh my god. <laughs> You should be thanking your lucky stars we haven't beaten the crap out of you by now. <laughs> <sighs> Shit, it almost makes you feel bad for the poor guy. <laughs> Even if he deserves it. You smoke? <laughs> Man, you're as soft as ever, Kaito Anaki. Oh God. <laughs> Humor me. According to you, this is a secret research facility for AD9. Yes, Vice Minister? That's correct. Hmm. Our nation's government has invested countless resources into AD9. It would seem rather foolish if we were to stop its momentum over this. I'm willing to overlook it for AD9. Wow. What? But, sir. Many thanks. Truly, I am in your debt. Of course, Vice Minister. Now, see in this too or something? Evacuate the premises at once. What the hell is happening here? I hope you can continue your research into eighty nine without any more disturbances. Let me assure you, Doctor Shono, this will not happen again. Is that so? Meaning... You're working for 89 too, aren't you, Chief Prosecutor? Apparently... Oh my god.
it's time for you to go home, Yagami-san. Just how long have you and Morita been working together? AD9 has many influential supporters. There's no stopping our momentum. Bullshit, there's not. I am not gonna let you win that easy. Ah, oh yes. I should let you know that I just received a call from Director Kido. Kuroiwa sends his regards. Kuroiwa? Apparently, he rescued Kido. He's been freed. Local thugs have made Kamurocho too dangerous for him. I cannot believe what is happening right now. But isn't that the chapter? I thought chapter 12 was the end. Huh. Guess we'll find out. Ooh, I don't like that loading screen. Yeah, not a fan. What's that roulette thing on the on the floor? Previously, the AD9 conspiracy entangled the ADDC's director Kido, the same man who had unveiled it to the world. An unfinished drug that exacted human sacrifice. Yagami believed he had finally found definitive proof. But even that was swallowed by the darkness. All for the greater good of a drug that would save humanity. Final chapter, down came the rain. There you go. Does it hurt? <laughs> you look worse than I was expecting. I hear Kuroiwa paid you a visit. Yep. Just him and that baton he's got. Beat the shit out of us. He took Kido too. How'd things go with your stuff? We found Shono's lab, but the police are basically refusing to investigate it. Why? Chief Prosecutor Morita is defending 89. You for real? Whatever evidence was there is probably long gone by now. Yagami-san. Right. There's something else I need to tell you, too. What is it? This have something to do with Sugiura? Yeah, um... That's not actually his name. Huh? It's all good. Calm down. <laughs> so you were Emi Terasawa's little brother, huh? Why'd you keep it a secret? At first, I wanted to make Yagami-san remember. Remember what? How he let my sister suffer. In my eyes, he was a scumbag who let a murderer walk. The murderer who then burned Emmy to death. That's heavy. From Suryuro's point of view, my actions directly led to Emmy's death. Go on. You don't have to hold back. Back then, I was just a shut-in fuck-up. My life was in shambles. Emmy was still there for me, though, when nobody else was. And then, somebody murdered her. Someone as nice as Emmy. Dead. For no reason. But the world doesn't stop for that shit. It just keeps turning. And people go about their business. Over time, I started to hate what our whole society stood for. 
So I'm guessing that's what led you to start that burglary ring? Pretty much. At the very least, I didn't want to keep living my life for other people. You know, when Emmy died, Yagami-san didn't apologize. Not to me, or to my parents. So that's when you guys first met, huh? Yup. It was totally different back then, though. I had glasses and long hair, so I couldn't really see my face. That's why I didn't recognize you. Defending a murderer, you're just as guilty as he is. Those words cut deeper than you probably could have imagined. Even so, Okubo insisted he didn't do it. Since I was his lawyer, I couldn't apologize. That would essentially be admitting he was guilty. What about after the trial? I didn't apologize then, either. Instead, I ran away. Put it all behind me. Right. You didn't just walk away. You practically got this far. At least Okubo was getting the death penalty. It didn't feel good, but... I settled for that. Then why'd you start hanging around Talk again? Because he found his way back to the courtroom to deal with all this mole business. He even got a Yakuza captain off the hook. Well, it's not like I suddenly just became a lawyer again. You're seeing that way from my perspective. So, I wanted to see where your head was at. Find out if you'd forgotten what you did to Emmy. If you were gonna pretend like nothing happened, I'd make you remember. And I'd make you pay for it. And that's why you approached me. Yep. I wanted to know what Okubo was up to, too. Find out if he was as afraid of death as he should have been. If anyone was gonna go see him, it was you. But now, it's looking more and more likely Okubo was framed. And I never would have known if I hadn't teamed up with you. Ironic, huh? So Sugiro was still doubting me, even as we worked together. Wow, that, that stings, man. That stings. Three years later, the real killer's finally clear. Now it turns out, Shono, he's the one leading the charge to cure Alzheimer's. He gets to go down in history as a hero? For what? Stabbing my sister to death? Burning her body? Don't worry. Everyone will see him for who he really is once the truth gets out. You weren't there today. The whole fucking system is protecting him. He bent the truth, suppressed evidence right in front of me. What's the point of fighting that kind of battle, huh? It's bullshit! You saw it too, right, Yagami-san? Right? Look, Sugira, ever since Emi-chan died, I've been running away from the truth. I was worried. Worried I wasn't gonna like what I found. That maybe I was responsible for her death. It was killing me. I couldn't bring myself to face it all. Talk. If you ask me, everyone has something they're trying to hide from themselves. But sometimes facing your fears is the only way forward. The real reason you came to me is because deep down, you wanted to know the truth. That sound about right? <laughs> if that's still true, we have our work cut out for us. We're gonna chase the truth as far as we can, even if it's in vain. Yeah, but all our paths are blocked. Who the hell cares? We'll blaze our own path then. Right, Talk? <laughs> yeah, you guys are out of your goddamn minds. A 
It's Mafuyu. What's up, Mafuyu? I need to speak with you about Morita. Wait, you're still here in town? Yes. I'm waiting at Tender. Do you think you could come meet me here? I... I think I'm being followed. Mm. What? It felt like someone was watching me all the way to the bar. I don't believe I'm imagining it. More of those bums the Ministry of Health hired? Or maybe one of the Chief Prosecutor's men. All right, I'll be right over. Thank you. I'm coming with. Igashi, keep an eye on Sugiura while we're gone. Huh? Why do... <sighs> Fine. <laughs> let's Quit whining, bro. Quit it. Alright, let's head over to Tenda. Is that a set... Oh. Is that a setup? Maybe they forced her to say that or something. No. I'm not gonna do that. How much uh, things to have? Wait. Uh, learning requirements. Boost to tag level 2. Wait, I got level 2. Oh. Ferocity of the tiger. I need... Uh, damn, that's expensive, y'all. I guess so. Wow, now I gotta save up points again. Oh my god. Wait, what? Oh no, that's boost health. I'm tripping. That's a dead end. Oopsies. Wow. Let's roll, let's roll Tuck. Yeah, let's roll. Let's roll over to Tenda, uh, Tenda, shall we? My for you. What's up? Thanks for coming. Uh huh. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. <laughs> you said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like he's a different person. Almost like he cared more about politics than mm -hmm. the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. Thing is, Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. Right, Morita was Muffy's first love. I've heard. That said, as for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About ten years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him. Made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? We're your bodyguards? Yes. At least, that was the plan. But 
Seeing what already happened to you. You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? <laughs> we'll do it. Right. Right. If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Yes, chivalry's dead, Mafia Chan. Shut up. Hmm, who's this from? Kim? Ooh, I don't care. Bye. Bye what? Really? Come on. Yeah, I was born ready. Come on. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what the hell? She's just sitting there chilling, drinking. You got business to do, woman. Well, do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Charm. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what, are they going to follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? I'm going to fight them. You back off a bit. We'll take care of them. Let's fight, shall we? Come here, boy. Let's go, Kaito-san. Okay. Boy, where do you think you're going? Thank you, Yagami kun. Keep going. Hell yeah. What? No love for me, Mafia? Hang in there, too, Kaito san. Now we're talking. All right. Mafia Chan's watching. So let's not screw this up. That was funny. Protect Mafia you. During this battle, the enemies will target Mafia you. If Mafia use health run. Eh, it's the same thing, alright. Ooh, he's got a weapon. Ooh, I gotta take care of that. No, that's the wrong guy. What the hell? Oh no, it was the right guy. What the hell? Damn! Judge. Who's left? Yo, my man, are you good? There you go. There he is. Boom. Ooh, bigger boys. Bigger boys than the big boys. Here, eat that bicycle. Mmm, delicious. He's twitching. Oh, big boy down. Alright. That's a new move. Get away from that. Okay. Well, it's one set. Okay. No. Bad thug. Bad thug. Damn. This 
Punched right through his guts. That's what I like to see. Just without the gut scene. Yeah, nice try. Damn. Yo. I got chill. Why do I always have to change? What am I doing with that? Uh. Okay, apparently I'm very strong. guys it was a nice what the hell don't you attack her yo back off there it is come here now don't you kick me what a kaito go he's stuck on the corner ow I'm trying my best over here, but... Are you good? Catch. There you go. What? Oh! That's close. Alrighty. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm taking the fat guys. I think. Get off of her, please. What is Mafia you doing, by the way? She's just standing in the middle. How about moving to the side a little bit? Out of the action, you know? But that's just me. I know about her though, maybe she likes it. Ooh. One fat guy is almost dead. What the hell? Again? Okay. Well, it's left. No, 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 no. Easy. Yo, Kaito, you don't look so good. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Finally. This is the place. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. This guy looks like one. To be honest. There he is. Uzawa, yes? Yeah, that's me. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, you're the detective from before. Right? Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you okay. two know each other? Fair enough. <laughs> Why'd you bring these chatterheads along? Well, uh, 
Yumi-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. So, what do we have in the case? Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Morita's older brother strangled their mom to death. But why? A caretaker murder. His brother murdered his own mother? Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother. All to ensure Morita was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal and sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. If I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result is him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well, not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. His own brother killed his ailing mother and then committed suicide on top of that. After everything his brother did, Morita was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the force. So then, Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. The guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? Hmm? Huh? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold. All because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm gonna get revenge for Emi-chan. Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh. It's just, uh, really obvious he used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, play off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. Yeah, whatever you say. Yagami-kun, I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. Yota, make sure she gets home safe, will you? Don't leave me alone with her. What the hell, man? This is awkward.
Wait, what? Where are we going now? Uh, okay. I know what to do, but that's gonna be for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Press that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.